Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning. Welcome to our Workers' Prayer. If you woke up this morning already in a bad mood, troubled, worried, overwhelmed by anxiety, you stop because right now you are going to get help. God is going to give you strength to change the way you live your life. Just sit back, watch this story. We are going to be right back with another device that will give you strength to change your life. My name is William Kululego Muleya. I used to drink a lot before I came to church. I used to have a lot of girlfriends. I had uh, nightmares, problems. I couldn't sleep well most of the time. When I first came to the spiritual treatment, there were people evangelizing there. They told me, come to church, my friend. And they give me the paper and then they pulled me inside, sat down, and I liked the service. From then on, I never looked back. What I learned in the spiritual treatment was to be faithful, to practice what you are being taught, uh, to persevere, and to fight. I understood very well that all my problems were because of, uh, were spiritual problems. And for me to overcome them, I need to fight them spiritually. So that was the only uh, solution to my problems. God blessed my life in a such a way that uh, when I look back, I never thought that my life would be like this. I would sleep a peaceful night like a baby. God blessed my life because I'm now married and I'm happy in my marriage. Previously, I was a, a, viral, a violent man, but now I, I have joy. I have peace. I don't find myself in a lot of problems anymore. God has transformed my life in a great way. God transformed William and he wants to transform your life as well. But you have to do what William did. Seek him. As I said the other day, make partnership with Jesus. Let him take care of your affairs. He has the power to transform your life, but he's not going to take you by force. He is not going to push his will into you. No, he is, he is at the door. He is knocking. If you open the door, he goes in and blesses your life. Have a glass of water. We are going to pray right now and bless your life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we enter your presence. We consecrate this glass of water. We bless the workers of our country. We bless also our enemies. They are people out there spending their time, money, efforts only to persecute us, only to speak against us. But we have nothing to fear because you are with us and we are going to overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. If people are persecuting you, speaking bad of you, don't worry. Just put your faith in God. Make sure that you are doing what is right and God will defend you. He will be your, your advocate. Fear not, for God is with you. God bless all of you tomorrow, 5 to 6 in the morning. We are going to be back here on E with one more workers' prayer to bless your life. Bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer.